welcome back once again in our previous tutorial we add all this animation functionality for our floating action button and in this part we will design our custom dialog and custom dialog input field so create a new layout resource file and we can call it custom layout for insert data and hit ok so this is our layout and change this constant layout to linear layout and attach orientation vertical and now we need to add a scroll view white mask parent and height is going to be wrap content and add a linear layout white mask parent and height wrap content and now in here we need to add orientation vertical and inside this linear layout we need to add one more linear layout and white mass parent and height wrap content and this linear layout is going to be orientation horizontal and inside this linear layout we need to add two relative layout so relative layout white 0 dp and height wrap content we will use layout weight that's why we don't need to use layout white now we need to add layout weight we can select layout weight 1 and add and we need to add layout margin 10 dp and add gravity center and now we need to add a text view so white is going to be wrap content and height is going to be wrap content and add a text and we can call it amount and we need one more relative layout so copy this relative layout and paste it here and for this relative layout we need to add a edit text so we want to add an input field so instead of layout weight 1 we need to write here layout weight 2 and remove this text view and add edit text and we don't need to add layout gravity center so now inside this relative layout we need to add edit text white mass parent and height is going to be wrap content and define a id and this id is going to be we can call it id amount id amount edit now we can see our text view amount and with that we can see our edit text and now we need to add a hint and we can call it amount and now we can see amount i think we don't need to add hint because at the left side we add a text view that is called amount so now we need to copy this linear layout because we need same things three more time so copy this linear layout and paste it one more time and now just change this text view inside this first relative layout we need to change our text amount to type and for this relative layout we need to change edit text id so we can call it type edit we just copy and paste it because we need same design we need same layout field so now we can see one more field type and one edit text And now we need to create one more 
field so again copy this linear layout and paste it here and now open this first relative layout for change the text and and this text is going to be note and for this relative layout we need to change this id we can call it note edit so now we can see our layout so for this layout we need to add three input field and we added it and now copy this linear layout and paste it here and this time we don't need to add any text view we need to add two button so button white we can select 0 dp and we can use layout weight instead of layout white or we can select layout margin not we can select the white mesh parent and height wrap content and change this layout weight 1 to 2 and add text and we can call it cancel and we need to define an id for this button and we can call it id btn cancel And we need to change this background color of this button so we can call it first add text appearance so text appearance medium and add text color and this color is going to be android color white and add background color and we can choose nafeder color you can choose any other color but i would like to add this same color And open this second relative layout and remove this relative layout and we can copy this this relative layout but we need this button so copy this relative layout and paste it here and now we can see two button and just change this button text and button id so change button id we can call it button save and change this text to save and now we can see two button one is at the left and one is at the right and we can see three input field so we design our layout for our input field for our custom layout for our inside data and for expense data we also need same layout so what we did here we created a scroll view inside the scroll view we add linear layout and inside this linear layout we add another linear layout and add horizontal orientation and we add two related layout and we, we used layout weight and we used layout weight just because we want to add exact same size for same div for different device okay i hope you learned this i hope you understand this design of this layout and now we need to open our dashboard fragment and in here we need to create a method so we can call it private void we can call it add data just create a method you can you can add any name what you want to show and inside this add method we need to uh, now we need to call this method inside our fab main button so when we will click this fab add button then we will see then then we will load this button so fef button income now we need to add a set on click listener so fef income button dot set on click listener so we created a me this method and we add this method inside our main floating action button and inside this method we need to add a set on click listener for our fef income button and for fab express button dot set on click listener new on click listener so we added to set on click listener and we created a method inside this method we added fab income button and fab express button so when user will click this button we will show a alert dialog we will show a custom alert dialog and we will show our layout that we designed in this part so that's it for this part